Hey YouTube subscribers and watchers, this is Anki and you are watching Slide Nerd. Today we are going to talk about data types in Python. Last time we spoke about a particular data type that is string. Today we are going to talk about a new data type in Python that is your list. So let's get started. The syntax for the list is as follows. First, you need to assign a list name that is a variable name. They equal to as assigning operator opening of a square bracket the value first value separated by a comma the value second value separated by a comma and so on and so forth at the end of the list you got to close or terminate the list with a square bracket so this entire structure is the syntax for the list each element of a sequence or a list is assigned a number the first index is a zeroth index the second index is the first index and so on and so forth. In simple language, your list is similar to an array. The array first value or the first position value is always determined by the index position 0. The second value is determined by the index position 1 and so on and so forth. You can perform the following operations with the list. You can assign indexing that is picking out a value or adding a value. Slicing that is picking out a value from a range of index position you can perform the following function to the list first you can perform indexing slicing adding and multiplying let's see each of them in detail here I'm defining a list is equal to operator and the opening of a square bracket with the values inside separated by commas and the closing of a square bracket let's identify the type of this particular variable the type of the variable is identified as list so this is how you define a list in Python. Next, let's understand some operations of the list. The first operation which you're going to look at is slicing or indexing. Let's understand some functions of the list. First, let's take an example of indexing or slicing the list. Slicing or indexing the list is nothing but taking out a value from the existing list from the index position. Here, I have the variable name that is list with the index position value which I want to slice. Welcome is at index position 0, 2 is at 1, slider is at 2 and exclamation is at 3. So whenever I write index position number 2 that means the value corresponding to 3 will be pulled out if I have a print statement which in this case is happening. Similarly if I have index position 1 that means the value corresponding to the number 2 will be pulled out from this particular list. So that's how you slice or index a list. Next, let's understand how do you replace or add a value to the new list. Replacing a value from the list is pretty simple. All you got to do is the variable name, the index position at which you want to replace and the new value with the equal to or the assigning operator. When I print this value of this existing list with the replacement, I see that the list is now replaced with the value termed as Python basic tutorials. Index position 2 was occupied previously by slide nerd. After replacing, I see that the new value Python basic tutorial is available in this existing list. So this is how you change the values of the list. The following are types of list. First, you can have a list of numbers. To define a list of numbers, you do not make use of the single code. Next, you can have a list of strings. Also have a list of combination of strings and numbers. And last, you can have a list of a list. To define a list of a list, let's take an example. Here I have my first list of numbers, second list of strings, and a third list comprising of a list of number variable and a list of string variable. On doing so, Python will assign both this list to the new existing list. So when I print the value, I see my entire first list is now a list of numbers separated by a comma and this two combined together forms a new list. So this is how you define a list of a list. In Python, we can have the four following lists, list of a number, list of a string, list of a number and string and list of a list. Let's understand how do you add an item to the list. 
To add an item to the list, we make use of the append function. Let's have a look at the syntax. The syntax is the variable name or the list name, the dot operator and the append keyword along with the value to be appended. Let's take an example to understand this better. Here I have a list defined which is a list of strings. I am printing the value and I get the values as welcome to in slide node. Now to this existing list I want to add a new value that is you are watching basic videos on Python. To do so I am making use of the append function. The following in the syntax the variable name or the list name dot operator append keyword and the new value to be appended. On doing so I have modified my list and I have incorporated new value. The append function does not tamper the original list but all it does is it adds a new value at the end of the list of the existing list. So here my initial list was welcome to slide node. By adding the new value the appending has been performed at the end of the list hence my list is now modified. So this is how you append a value to the list. Let's understand how do you remove a particular value from the list. To remove a value from the list we make use of the del command or the del function. The syntax is as follows del the list name or the variable name the index position from which you want to delete the value of the existing list. Let's take an example and understand this. Now I want to delete the value at the index position 1. To do so I am making use of the del function. The syntax is del the variable name of the list and the index position which you want to delete. Here I want to delete the value sitting at index position number 1. That means the value number 2 in the list. On doing so you can see the new list is now reduced to 3 values and this particular existing value 2 is now deleted from the new list. So this is how you delete a value from the list. Let's understand what kind of arithmetics can be performed with list. First, you can perform addition. Second, you can perform multiplication. Here I have a list which is of numbers. Second, a list which is of strings. Now I wish to add these two strings. Now by adding these two lists, I'm going to form a new list which comprises of numbers and strings. To do so, I make use of the addition operator that is plus sign. On doing so, the value of the list 1 is printed first and continued with the values existing in the list 2 forming a new list. Next, let's understand how do you multiply the list with an integer. To multiply a list with an integer, we make use of the multiplication operator. The multiplication operator will repeat the values of the list the digit times. That means in this case, I have a list variable called as list and having a single string value. By multiplying this variable with an integer 5, the string values are repeated 5 times. So whenever you multiply a list with an integer, the values of the list are repeated integer times. So that's how you add and multiply values in a list. If you like what you saw, please like the video, comment below and subscribe to SlideNerd. Stay tuned for more on Python basic tutorials. Thanks for watching.